Hello and thank you for joining me on the introduction on how to use dowsing rods. My name is Debbie Emley from Resonate, Resonate Wellness Centre. I've been dowsing for approximately 20 years and we do teach how to use the dowsing rods and dowsing pendulums and uh, within our workshop people get to make their own dowsing rods. Now these dowsing rods that I have here it's uh, one of our a smaller set and it is made of copper. Uh, they do not need to be made of copper. They can be made of anything, but uh, copper is said to be the better conductor for those that are able to, to use copper. Not everybody is. These are the dowsing rods that we use, that we will be teaching. We do not cover the, the wooden ones with the, uh, the Y-shaped ones where the water divining, so to speak, where they bend forward or any other bobber type dowsing rods. So it is purely just the standard type of dowsing rod as we know it. So before you use the dowsing rods, uh, we feel it is very important to have really good foundations as with anything that you do. So I'm going to teach you how to hold the dowsing rods, how to stand and uh, just that type of thing, your posture when it comes to dowsing rods. Now again, this is the way that I have found easier for me. This is the way that we teach our students how to douse. And uh, so far we've had some great feedback with that, but you decide for yourself. So when it comes to these particular type of dowsing rods, we feel that the best way to hold them is so they are parallel, so they are horizontal and they are not facing downwards or upwards. If they are facing downwards, naturally, it doesn't matter even if it's only slightly, there will be an inability for them to then move uphill and vice versa. If they are facing upwards, just ever so slightly, if you're standing there and slightly facing upwards, I'm exaggerating it, then they will naturally just fall back down. So the best way is to have them straight. So how can you do that? How can you make sure that they are straight? So from our point of view, I tend to tuck my elbows into my body. So that gives it a solid base. It stops my arms from wobbling around and moving the dowsing rod itself and uh, gives some stability to that. And then I will put my arms forward slightly because what's very important, and I've seen people do this so many times, is they will hold the dowsing rods up here like this and the dowsing rod has nowhere to spin and it will end up hitting the body. And that's no good either because whatever you're searching for could potentially be behind you. So we need to make sure of that. <clears throat> so the rod must be... Uh, ideally free spinning. These are free spinning rods. There's a little weight at the bottom and uh, the copper handle. If you do not have the free spinning rods and it is just the piece of metal, if you have like a wire coat hanger or something that you've used your, you've made your dowsing rod with, which is absolutely fine to start out with. And you need to make sure that you're holding it loosely. And that can be a little tricky because people have a tendency to want to grip onto the rod. So that's why the free spinning ones are far better to use. And we like to use two of them. I know people, some people will only use one, but on this occasion for us, we use two. So again, for, make sure they're free spinning ideally, but whether they are or not, tuck your elbows into your body and your arms will be approximately shoulder width apart to allow the rod to cross over in the middle. So they are not crossing like this, although it probably doesn't matter that much, but that's just the way that we like to teach it. And then you just put your arms down slightly so you're not tense up here in your body. Just relax your arms with the, the dowsing rods out straight. And you will know when you've got them straight, because if I stand sideways here, so I'm not asking any questions, or try not to ask any questions, they, they should not move very much. It is only when you start to ask questions that they will start to move. 
and I did ask it a question like where is the door <laughs> and it's going to show me where the door is although I will do and I'm going to do a particular video on how to ask questions and the right type of questions so try and have your feet again about hip width apart it sounds very technical but really it's just the way you basically stand tuck your elbows in hold your arms down slightly keep the tuning the tuning forks the uh the dowsing rods uh straight so they're not facing down or facing up and ideally have them free spinning and make sure that they can spin all the way around so it's as easy as that but they are common things that i see time and time again that people um do not know about or are not aware of so we are highlighting these firm foundations for you and that will allow you to get better results and uh, yeah be able to use your tuning forks with a lot more ease and accuracy i hope this has been helpful to you look out for our other videos and our workshop that we will be doing online about how to answer questions thank you very much for joining us have fun.